We're getting Monday drunk. No, get it up in your lungs, bro. Are you first timer? <laughs> if marijuana is not legal within the next five years, I have no faith left in humanity, period. Cheers, my legal friend. hero. Mm-hmm. I have a super dry tongue. Look, ah, I actually have to wet it manually every hour. It's a real nightmare. So Jan 1 was a big day. Jan 1 was a huge day for the state of Illinois. That's true. For Corey and Sean. Yeah. And for weed lovers everywhere. Legal marijuana is for sale in Illinois, and business is already booming. No surprise there. Good afternoon. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Aaron Ivory. So Jan 1. Legal weed for recreational users uh, statewide. You know what Rev said? What's that? We're gonna make a beer about it. I love it. Legal Hero, double dry hopped hazy IPA. It's really tasty. And, well you just called this recently, the hazy beer is, is in style. They are, they're everywhere. Oh, I forgot to show this. I went to Sunnyside, it's a dispensary in uh, Chicago, and they gave, dude, this is like a keepsake. Yeah, it's sick. Also, as is always the case with Rev beer cans, the logo and the dude on the front is so sick. Some of the best art you'll see anywhere, not to mention just like a can it, of beer. Dude. They got a comic going on. Bullshit. Bullshit. This is a pint can, 8%. And uh, I picked this up. I went over to the brewery on Kedzie and they just gave us this beer and said, here boys, uh, you seem like the type of guys that like the fact that weed's legal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, don't peg me. All right, today, and also uh, versus. So the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit is very popular in America. Of course. They got them at pretty much every fast food place. Even nice sit down places will have them, like diners and stuff, because diners are nice sit down yeah, hooters. places. Hooters. <laughs> is that what you really want? We got the Kroger brand, we got the Jimmy Dean brand, and we're gonna kind of test them out. Did we ever figure out the price? Are they pretty pretty comparable? Yes. The Kroger, which is the store brand, Kroger like owns a, a lot of grocery stores across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, $1.25 a sandwich. Jimmy Dean, the Mecca, doing national commercials. $1.44. Yep, yep. So 19 cents difference. Um, if you're somebody who, where 19 cents is a big deal of change, you snag the Kroger ones. But yep. we're about to tell you which one tastes better. Tell you which one, and if you get confused at any point in the video, there's one easy way to tell. I noticed that we were getting confused a bunch. Yeah. Sausage placement. Yeah, what do Kroger they do? puts the sausage on the top. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Dean puts the sausage on the bottom. Now that's relative yeah. to the egg, so. Let's do Jimmy Dean first. Okay. Because first I feel like the JD, Mecca, good I know that taste a little bit too. I know the Jimmy yep, Dean taste. Yep, you know it. I'm Jimmy Dean and uh, I wish I could tell you how I feel about a morning like this. You're a Jimmy Dean uh, scholar, some would say. Yeah, I sometimes have This is Jimmy Dean, right? Look, what did I, hey, did you listen to my lesson? If you can't get the fat out of your ears and listen, then why am I here? All right, follow Jimmy D. Fun. All right, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Very dry. Very dry. <laughs> bit of a biscuit problem, I bet. There's no moistness from the egg and the sausage because it's frozen. So right, right. The okay. biscuit tastes like a desert. Mm -hmm. Quick palate cleanser from uh, our friends at Rev. Okay, they going make, in for the Kroger bite. They make such good beers. He eats, I just go on a tangent. This one's drier. <laughs> I was just gonna say mine felt a little juicier. Oh, what? Mine looks a little juicier. See, that one to me looks way more juicy. Oh, really? I'm look how flaky and... I'm looking at, like, see the meat juices there? Yeah. Look here, look. look. There's looking no... looking at it as a whole. I guess there's a little bit of juices. You're right. Because the bread is, of course, gonna be dry, but I'm looking at the meat. You're right. The meat on the Kroger one Which is, is actually kind of moister. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dude, this is exactly why science was created, for us to do this. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's true. Both of them, very dry. I think the biscuit quality is better on the Jimmy Dean. Like there's- I believe, yeah, it's like a little, little flakier almost. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more solid. Yeah. I agree with that, totally. Interesting. Oh yeah. Right? And I've been to that with that focus in mind. <laughs> it it all lined up. Mm -hmm. You think I'm not gonna- I know. So I gotta, I'm doing bit. one bite of each with six or so. Yep, me too. Rev really cranks out the beers, by the way. Yeah, the amount that they put out. Of like we went to Marano's. And and there's just, every time we go there, there's a new something hero beer. 
Good for them. Which I love. Yeah, their brewers must be working overtime. I know. Stop working so hard. I don't want you guys to strain yourself. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kay. Are you gonna put any on? Yeah. I honestly think breakfast food is my favorite thing to put Sixer sauce on. Oh, is that right? It really like does well with breakfast food. Mmm, 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 mmm. Really makes the sandwich better. It does. Not just the flavor, it needed the moistness. Mm-hmm. I have a winner. See ya. <laughs> I leave. It's a tough choice. And even my picking is only gonna be like gun to my head if I had to go. Like I wouldn't be sad if you gave me one of the other. No, they're both. Or didn't. Yep. <laughs> All right, lock in your winner, remember it, because we have to take a quick commercial break. Okay. After these messages, we'll be right back. Merch out, merch out, merch out out. These are all the amazing people who support us by checking out our merch store. Go to number six cheese.com and find all kinds of fun stuff. We got the koozies, we got sunny G's, we got stickers, we got shirts, we got hot sauce. That's the main one. That's the main one. There's so much awesome stuff. Let's check it out. And uh, if you buy anything, we like to do shout outs. If you buy more than one item, you jump to the front of the list for the shout outs. We're gonna go over a few of our next up shout outs. Yeah. Merch shout out number one goes to Ude Gupta. How do you that name comes across? I'm very excited. I know, dude. Um, super stoked that you got yourself an Eat It Bit shirt. Retired shirt, can't get it anymore. You wish you could, but it's done, though, my friends. You ordered it all the way out to Connecticut, so we appreciate mm. the support. It's so awesome. Merch shout out number two, also helping retire the Eat It Bit shirt, Mr. Kevin Fandry. Woo! Out there in Nebraska. Buying awesome stuff. Love mm -hmm. it. We love thank it. Thank you we so much. It. Ude, thank you so much. Kevin, number six with cheese.com. Eric. Drum roll, please, and then we're gonna say either Kroger or Dean. Kroger's like a one syllable word. Kroger, Dean. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Too long? No, it's better. I just hated that it was better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Eric. All right, Kroger or Jimmy. Ready? Oh, Jimmy! Prepare for battle. Weaklings? Yeah, you know, it's the biscuit. It's the biscuit. I wanted it. the meat was juicier on the Kroger one. You know, what you could do. Switch but the, it. you could switch the, the meat. The bit, yeah, you could. The biscuits just, man, it's really impactful when it's not as flaky because it, it really does it take it from like yeah already not the greatest thing in the world to just enough worse where it's like it makes the biggest difference. When biscuits are bad, it ruins the whole reason why biscuits are good. Like that flakiness and like the crumbly and the, when it's part of the sandwich. The Kroger one a little bit, the Kroger, the like biscuit felt almost like an afterthought of like, this is like stale yeah. tasting. Yeah. And then you have the delicious egg and cheese and sausage. <laughs> band name for you. Biscuits uh, are bad. Definitely too long of a band name. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a Panic at the Disco song type. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop your fingers for me. Ready for a little jam out session? We got Biscuits Are Bad coming up. <laughs> I would go see Biscuits Are Bad. They'd have yeah, like a 310 dude. Riot Fest slot. Yep. Well, thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> uh, Rev, thank you so much for the Legal Hero beer. It's delicious. Um, I don't know the, like, the distribution on this. If it's available at like Benny's and places in Illinois, you guys gotta snag it. Cause I can't imagine they made a lot of it. Yeah, I hope it goes out farther than that, man. I hope I got some folks who can get it all over the country. I know. This is good stuff. Very, very good. Guys, let us know your favorite breakfast food below. If we see it at the store, we might buy it for next Monday or the Monday after that, whatever. You get how it goes. Um, see you guys tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday for new videos. Sure, I'll have a legal... Sure, I'll have a drink and a smoke and probably a down vote from a really conservative person on this part of the video. It makes everything better. It makes food taste better. It makes music better. It makes sex feel better, for God's sake.